Hello, and welcome to this segment of Loving Life. I'm Charlie Silva, board certified hypnotist and certified professional life coach. I've helped many people take back control of their life and achieve their goals by asking the following question. Loving life, are you loving yours? If so, wonderful. If not, why not? If there's something that's stopping you from loving your life, what is it? And let's find ways to overcome it. If you missed any previous segments of Loving Life, you can watch them online at the MTN18 website, mtn18.com. Now, during our previous segment of Loving Life, we looked at how stress wreaks havoc with our bodies. We discussed how, according to Dr. Robert London, a practicing psychiatrist for more than three decades and the author of several publications regarding the dangers of stress, the bottom line is that stress, whether chronic or acute, is a big deal if you don't find an outlet. He says the best way to handle stress is to expel it. And he says one way to expel stress is to be physically active. Exercise can reduce stress hormones, flooding the body with endorphins that improve mood, boost energy, and provide a healthy distraction. Meditative techniques such as self-hypnosis and even yoga can be effective outlets for your stress. Finding a solution that works best for you is critical before stress becomes chronically debilitating, says Dr. London. During this segment of Loving Life, we'll look at other ways to help you reduce your stress. Now, according to Michelle Promaleko, editor-in-chief at Yahoo Health and author of the book, 20 Pounds Younger, gaining control over external stressors starts with two things, accepting that they'll always be there and being confident that you can manage stressful feelings using an arsenal of mental and physical strategies. Here are just a few of the many ways people can reduce the stress they feel. Maybe one of these will work for you. Learn to simply say no. According to Dr. Nanette Gartrell, author of My Answer is No, if that's okay with you, overcommitting reduces the time you have to tend to your own needs. Needs such as eating healthfully, sleeping an appropriate number of hours, or caring for your immediate family. You need to be very aware that it's perfectly okay to simply say no if your gut instincts make you feel better by saying no. Now I understand that you may find it challenging to say no, especially if the request comes from a loved one. If so, you're not alone. Many people find themselves saying yes to things they don't really want to agree to out of fear or in an effort to avoid conflict or hurting another person's feelings. Saying no isn't always easy but it is vital to your own self-care. You see, healthy people have healthy boundaries, and part of being healthy is occasionally saying no to requests, situations, or people that you can't or don't want to accommodate. So if you hesitate in saying no, a simple way that you can use to say no with ease, power, and grace is by letting people know that you have a full plate. If you're way too busy to accommodate the person's request, let them know you're slammed and that you simply have no time to fit what they're asking you to do into your schedule. Just say something as simple as, I'm sorry, I'd love to help, but my schedule is crazy right now and there's no way I can fit this in. Another way to reduce your stress is to go to sleep earlier. This may seem like a truly simple way to deal with stress, but it's amazing how many people don't allow themselves to get the restful sleep they need to rejuvenate themselves. Fatigue raises cortisol levels and exacerbates anxiety and feelings of being out of control. What's too little sleep? Well, recent studies have shown that if you're getting fewer than seven hours of restful sleep each day, you're likely experiencing greater stress and fatigue. Ideally, try to get seven or even eight hours and then see how you feel after both durations. After determining which length of time helps you feel better, from then on, try to get the right amount for you. Sleep is when your body repairs and rebuilds tissue. Cheat your body out of that essential process and your overall health, including the health of your skin, will suffer. University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland found that women who slept five or fewer hours a night or who had poor quality sleep due to tossing and turning had more signs of facial aging, like fine lines and uneven pigmentation in just one week. Now this next step may sound unusual, but studies have shown that it actually works to reduce your stress. And it's simply to take a video break. At work or at home, spend 60 seconds of every hour watching a funny video. Just one minute of laughter is one of the world's best stress relievers, and it's free. 
Now taking guitar lessons is yet another way to reduce your stress. Or plant a garden. Or refinish an end table. Or take up some other hobby or activity that interests you. You see, mastering a new activity can reward you with a rush of feel-good dopamine, sending your brain into a relaxing state sometimes known as being in the zone, where you seem to totally lose track of time. When you're in that zone and you feel as if you've actually lost track of time, your stress levels tend to greatly decrease. Another fun way to reduce your stress is to hug your mate. As it turns out, studies have shown that love is a very powerful feel-good drug. Those who frequently hug their partners tend to have lower blood pressure than those in less affectionate relationships, according to a study in the journal Biological Psychology. The benefit may stem from the release of the hormone oxytocin when you feel love towards someone. Oxytocin is known as the bonding hormone and it helps you feel calm and may dampen sympathetic nervous system activity, also known as the fight or flight response in your heart and blood vessels, according to study author Dr. Kathleen White. And here's another way to reduce your stress that may sound unusual, but it actually works. Try the trickle effect. Studies show that being near water or simply hearing the sound of flowing water can lower your heart rate and stress levels and help you feel more serene. Even just looking at water can be soothing. And there are many ways to experience the serenity of being near water without even going outdoors. You can set up a plug-in tabletop fountain in your living room, or arrange floating candles in clear water-filled vases, or even buy a desktop fish tank filled with aquatic plants. If you're tight on space, hanging photos of ocean or river scenes or just changing your computer screensaver to one with a water theme can provide you with some of water's calming effects. Create a quiet corner at home. There's a reason spas set up hushed, low-lit lounge areas. According to Simon Markser, the spa director at Miraval Resort and Spa in Tucson, Arizona, these quiet areas are designed to make you feel swaddled to provide comfort and security. Recreating this effect at home can be as simple as arranging a few plush pillows. The colors of cool green and blue are the most calming in a dimly lit corner of your quietest room. And finally, allow yourself to experience wonderful relaxing feelings by using meditation and self-hypnosis. In a recent study from Australia, workers who meditated in their office chairs for just 15 minutes showed a significant decline in blood pressure. You can squeeze in your downtime during your lunch hour by switching off your office phone and therefore eliminate distractions, as the study participants did. Don't have the environment or opportunity at work to experience self-hypnosis? Then plan to give yourself the time at home. Most commonly, any form of meditation or self-hypnosis will help you de-stress and feel more centered. It relaxes your body, calms your emotions, clears and quiets your mind, and gives you a feeling of integration. Self-hypnosis also increases your mental powers of concentration, insight, memory, and visualization. Consistent practice can release layers of inner tensions, traumas, and limitations so that you feel more mentally and emotionally healthy and whole. So when you're ready to de-stress your life and take back control of your life, give me a call and I'll be glad to show you how. Be sure to check my website for upcoming Take Back Control of Your Life workshops. The workshops are free of charge. If you have goals you'd like to achieve but have been unable to do so, attending one of my workshops may be all you need to take back control of your life. Well, I'm sure I've given you some things, positive things, to think about. Send any questions or comments you have to me at charlie.mtn18.com and I'll answer them in future segments of Loving Life. I'm Charlie Silva and I'm asking you, Loving Life, are you loving yours? If so, wonderful. If not, why not? If there's something that is stopping you from loving your life, what is it? And let's find ways to overcome it. Always remember that you are awesome. Have a wonderful day filled with love and gratitude.